Welcome back to NCX Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to install a fully working Ubuntu operating system on an external SSD. You can do the same if you want to install it on a USB drive too. It's not just a live session but a full install you can boot on almost any computer. Super useful if you want a portable Linux system you can carry in your pocket. I'll guide you step by step, cover what you need and we'll talk about the exact settings like MBR versus GPT, where to install the bootloader and even to disable secure boot before we start. Alright, here's what you'll need for this process. You'll need uh, Ubuntu ISO file and then Rufus for Windows or Acer for Mac or Linux and one USB drive for the installer with capacity of minimum 8 GB or second USB or a hard drive or a SSD for the OS 32 GB or more recommended and a computer that can boot from the USB. And most importantly make sure to disable secure boot for this go to your BIOS or UFI settings by pressing the boot key while your PC starts. It's usually F2 on most of the PC model and then go to secure boot which is under security or boot tab and then disable secure boot. Next let's create our installer USB. For this download Ubuntu ISO from Ubuntu's official web page. We'll download the latest Ubuntu 25.04. And also we need to download Rufus. Just go to rufus.ie. Download Rufus, no need to install it. Here I have both downloaded files. Now plug in your installer USB, open Rufus and on the device select your installer USB which is my ZB USB and on the boot selection choose your Ubuntu ISO that you have just downloaded and set partition scheme to MBR for maximum compatibility. Leave everything as it is and click start and confirm any prompts. Writing Ubuntu ISO file to the USB drive may take up to 5 minutes. Now plug in your external SSD or USB drive. This is where we'll install Ubuntu. Check its partition table and convert it to MBR if you have legacy BIOS mostly for old devices. Otherwise convert it to GPT if you have UFI for the modern devices. You can do this on Windows. Just open disk management and right click the disk area then choose properties and inside volumes you can see that if it's not zpd delete existing volumes and then right click the disk and convert to mbr and since my system uses ufi i need this in zpd which is already so no need to convert delete volumes to create free space where we install ubuntu later in the video and next we'll boot into the Ubuntu installer. Just reboot your PC and enter the boot menu. It's usually F12, F10, ESC or the delete key. Press one of these key while your computer starts. And now select your installer USB. And there you have Ubuntu installer app. Now choose the language accessibility in Ubuntu. Select keyboard layout and connect to the internet. It's optional. So what do you want to do with Ubuntu? Choose between trying Ubuntu without installing or jumping straight into installation. Here installation mode, pick interactive mode to manually go through options or automated if you have a config file for automatic setup. Software selection, default selection for basic apps and utilities, extended selection, this adds offline friendly tools like office apps and extra utilities. And other options, check the boxes to install third party drivers for graphics, Wi-Fi and extra media formats. And now installation type, we are selecting the manual installation. This lets you manage the partitions yourself, we are going with the manual installation option. 
Now be very careful that this is the step where you need to carefully identify the target SSD or the USB drive. Here in my case it's a 256GB SSD. So there you have. And now set the device for bootloader installation to the same target SSD or USB drive. This creates a boot slash EFI partition automatically as you can see here. And now click on the free space then plus sign to create a new partition and size use all the space or minimum of 25 GB mount point slash that is root and file system ext4 and it's optional you can create a swap partition if desired and now click confirm and create account your name computer name username and password and select your time zone review settings quickly check your choices before committing and then install hit install and relax it will take a few minutes a nice slide show will show off ubuntu features while it installs once it's done click restart now You need to remove the installer USB and then press enter. And now time to test it out. Remove the installer USB, plug in your external SSD or Ubuntu USB. Reboot and enter the boot menu by pressing F12 here in my case. And select your Ubuntu SSD or USB drive. And watch as Ubuntu loads directly from your external SSD or USB drive. And I would like to mention a couple of things before you go that this setup works best with USB 3.0 drives. It is much faster than USB 2.0. And a full install runs slower than the internal SSD but it's perfect for portable workstations testing or privacy. And that's it. Now we have a fully working portable Ubuntu OS you can carry around. And if you found this video helpful, please like and share the video. Subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.